Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com, and today is January 6th, and we have our sixth video of 2014 ready to go. And today we're going to look at designing a letter mark, and it's going to be for a fictional company called Paperclip. Now, basically, a letter mark is a unique treatment on either a single letter or multiple letters, which are usually just initials of a business name, and they're designed in some type of unique uh, in relevant way. So you'll see what I mean when we get started. So again, this is an Adobe Illustrator CC. And as always, visit designcourse.com, put in your email, and also the project files are available for free, as always, in the description below this video. All right, let's get started. Let's go to File, New. And my width is 800 by 600. I'm going to hit OK. Hit Control one to get to 100%. And let's go to View, Show Grid, and then View, Snap to Grid. Okay, so basically the idea here is uh, to take a, a company, uh, it's called Paperclip, which we'll just say is a web-based file management storage system, <laughs> whatever, uh, and make a letter mark out of the P. So... We'll say, for example, you know, the client's requested, you know, they want a paper clip as part of it. So it's quite literal. So the letter mark will need to take a P and combine it into a paper clip. So the idea I came up with was to take, you know, the right portion of the paper clip. That would be the portion that is a P. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get started and you'll see how this will all come together. I'm going to zoom up here. Uh, it's around the middle somewhere right around there and I'm going to use the ellipse tool so I'm just going to hold right down here in the center in the middle of one of these square grids I uh, hold shift and then alt and actually I may make this I'm going to go right here in the center and we'll make it that big alright so I want to get rid of the foreground color and then I want to make the stroke right around there we'll say seven points. Then I want to use the direct selection tool to select just this left point and hit delete. Okay, so this will serve as kind of like the P portion and also the right side of the paper clip. Now what I want to do is take our move tool and with this selected, we will duplicate that. Control C and Control F, right click, transform, reflect, and then just hit okay. So now we'll hold shift and just drag over and I'll say to right around here. So we have three in the middle here, three squares. And now what I want to do is just take this and I'm going to scale it up by three points right there. And then we'll take this and scale this in by one. All right. And then I want to hit control C, control F. We'll right click, transform, reflect vertical again and we're gonna going to just drag that over by holding shift and I'll say right around there and then I'm gonna take this and drag it in three times or th drag it down rather three times as well so one two three and drag this in once alright so this looks crazy I know uh, at this point let's go ahead and connect all these so with the pen tool selected we'll We'll connect that to there, and I'll select that back here to deselect that, and then we'll take this one, connect that over there, and then we'll do this again. We'll take this one, and we'll end it right around here, and then finally take this over here. We'll come right around, I'd say here is good, and then hold shift, and down. So everything's really thin right now. So let's go ahead and take everything. And this all, by the way, is on the same path. And we're going to increase the stroke size. And I think 17 is pretty good. And when we were duplicating these, these weren't exactly snapping to the grid point. So if we just select this one and just slightly move it, it'll give us a perfectly horizontal path like you can see right here. 
it's not perfect. So we just take this and move it slightly. And that way everything is actually straight. Actually, this still. There we go. All right, so it's sometimes it's just a matter of playing with it. So if we hit Control-1, we go back here to view, we'll hide the grid, and we will turn off Snap to Grid. Take our Move tool, move this over. At this point, if you want to make any adjustments, you can use the Direct Selection tool to go ahead and move these around. I think this is pretty decent, but if you want it to be a little bit more condensed, you could do so like that. And once you're happy with the actual shape, we can select everything, go to Object, Path, and then Outline Stroke. So now it's no longer a stroke. Everything's outlined as it needs to be. And there we go. So as you can see, the letter mark here is taking this P right here, and then it's also combining it into the shape of a paperclip. So that is basically all we need to do. Um, now, if you wanted to color this or whatever, that's fine. Um, but since it, this is strictly a video about you know creating the shape or the form of a letter mark, then I'm just going to end it right here. Though we could real quick, if I wanted to, just to show like what this would look like alongside uh, an actual word mark to create what's called a combination mark, which is taking a symbol along with the actual type. I'll just real quickly type in paperclip. Let me just scale out here. And I'm going to use a font. This is one I purchased called Trade Gothic. And you could present the, the, uh, the logo like this. I'm going to take everything, cop or duplicate it rather. Or you can have it at the top. And there you go. You have yourself an effective logo. This here would, again, this is a combination mark. And then we just have our letter mark up here. Uh, and there we go. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And as always, visit designcourse.com. And if you need access to the project files, they are below in the description. All right, I will see you tomorrow.